Smash Drunk. There are lots of different ways the Super Nintendo utilizes its Mode 7 feature. Early on, we saw games like Pilot Wings and F Zero use it to great effect, and eventually developers started to kind of get crazy with it. A lot of different RPGs like Secret of Mana and Final Fantasy VI used it for overworld exploration. Shooters like Space Megaforce had some cool Mode 7 stuff. You had devs attempt first person shooters with the help of Mode 7, which included games like Jurassic Park and Wolfenstein 3D. And there's also goofy experimental stuff like Mohawk and Headphone Jack. It's not a great game, but the effect here is unique and kind of cool if it doesn't make you nauseous. On the Ball is another one of those games that uses Mode 7 as the basis of its gameplay. The idea here is to navigate a ball through a maze, with the ball constantly in a falling state, so it's up to you to twist the maze left or right to make sure the ball falls where you want it to. Again, this is a pretty solid puzzle game, provided that you don't get dizzy and nauseous from all the spinning, but on the off chance that you don't, this one is a lot of fun. On the Ball was originally developed as an arcade game in 1989 by Taito under the name Camel Tree. Yeah, because when I think of labyrinthine games like this, my first thought is camels. Seriously, I have no idea what to make of that original title. The SNES port kept the same name in Japan, but in the West it was renamed On The Ball. The mechanics here are what you'd expect. You have to twist the maze around to make sure the ball falls into the goal before the time limit. And the usual obstacles are here. There's blocks that take away time if you happen to bump into them. There's bumpers that bounce your ball all around in different directions. There's lots of bricks you have to smash through to proceed. And of course, there's lots of helpful bricks with arrows that tell you where to go. This is an excellent puzzle game, the kind that has you gunning for the high score, replaying again and again to try and find the most efficient path to the exit. I can't find a definitive guide that tells me how many mazes there are in this game, but there's plenty to keep you occupied for 30, 40, or 60 minutes. This game also has plenty of codes to keep you occupied, one that changes the gravity of the ball, which is very strange, especially after you've gotten used to how the game usually behaves. Plus, there's also the usual stage select passwords, codes that change the appearance of the ball, but there's also a couple passwords that unlock an expert mode, which is really cool. I've got those listed in the description, so check those out if you play this one. There are some other game modes in this one. There is a two-player mode, but it's turn-based, meaning that you gotta pass the controller to the next person. On the Ball also works with the SNES mouse, which is kind of a strange decision, but I guess the dev team thought, hey, why not? This could work. What the heck? It doesn't do much for me, but it might stir the loins of someone else out there. I don't know. I should also mention that there are other versions of this game out there. In 2007, Taito released an updated version of this game for DS called Labyrinth, which was later ported to PS2, Xbox, and PC as part of the Taito Legends 2 collection. It also got a version on PSP as part of the Taito Legends power-up collection, so there's plenty of ways to play this one. So yeah, On The Ball is an extremely easy review. All I gotta do is just show the gameplay and say, here's what you gotta do, and that's it. Either you like that, or you don't. This is one of those games where it's like, hey, did you know this existed? Because it does. So there you go. Seriously, personally, I like this, despite how dizzy the Mode 7 stuff makes me once in a while, but sometimes it's nice to just simplify things and just roll a ball through a maze. Alright, I know that was a short one this week, but I want to thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.